a beautiful international airport also just taking off i mean uh, maybe another two years we would have the exclusive civilian international airport also in vizag and most importantly you know i've asked my officers to look for a good premises for myself also to shift out, shift out you know. and uh, probably you know little bit of uh, they have uh, scouted for premises and once it is cm it comes with a uh, huge setup of security and the cmo and officers and their living places and things like that so so just looking at few few of the premises and maybe i was hoping for october maybe it will be december that's what, that's what i was told but nevertheless december would probably be the outer line where i myself would actually be staying in vizag so this this kind of push which is required for the city to actually become the tier 1 city and i am very confident that in forces uh vizag has always had that potential we have it is one particular city wherein this has the potential to become something like hyderabad bangalore or chennai given that kind of support to this city this is one city unfortunately after hyderabad the uh, was broken away from our state post bifurcation we do not have a, a tier 1 city as such you know when all this it and all this uh, uh, related it services and uh, these kind of uh, industries which are related to tier 1 cities obviously could not be housed in vizag because of the fact that hyderabad was our capital even though vizag had that potential unfortunately we were left with this tier 2 city but nevertheless vizag is the biggest city in andhra pradesh and this has the capacity and the potential to catapult into tier 1 city the fact being that we have almost uh, very prestigious institutes as well in, here in vizag we have uh, educational hub housing eight universities four medical colleges 14 engineering colleges 12 degree colleges and almost generating 12000 to 15000 engineers every year we have uh, very prestigious institutes as well in vizag we have iim here we have uh, uh, national law university also here along with the eight universities and all and four medical colleges and uh, the 12 degree colleges that i've just spoken about so this has the capacity this has the potential we have a very uh, quite a few public sector undertaking companies are here we have ioc we have uh, uh, eastern naval command which how ready honorable it minister of andhra pradesh shri gurivada amarnath honorable minister for health family welfare and medical education of andhra pradesh shrimati vidala rajini distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen and my all my infosys colleagues it is indeed a privilege to welcome the honorable chief minister and all of you to the inauguration of infosys's first development center in the state of andhra pradesh and in this beautiful city of visakhapatnam Visakhapatnam is one of the fastest growing cities in India and is bestowed with immense natural beauty coupled with world class connectivity and its famed seaport consequently it has developed into a major industrial and commercial center and an attractive investment destination from our perspective Visakhapatnam is a tremendous talent hub producing tens of thousands of qualified engineers each year and that is what attracts us to this wonderful city As some as a few may be aware Infosys has its presence across India including in Hyderabad in Bengaluru Pune and Chennai 
With the learnings of the pandemic, we made a strategic decision to invest in new development centers closer to our employees and where quality talent is available. Hence, it was not a difficult decision for us to come to Vishakapatnam. The new development center will attract and upskill local talent to work on global opportunities for our clients across the world. This new workforce will learn the latest technology skills like cloud, digital, and artificial intelligence. This center can accommodate 1,000 employees on a hybrid first working model, which is pioneered by Infosys. Infosys, as you know, believes in the gender diverse workforce, and we are proud to state that close to 40% of our employees are women. We also believe that this center will attract women talent workforce closer to the place where they stay. The office premise is a leading model on efficient use of energy, carbon, emissions and waste management. The DC has a combination of collaboration zone as you will see, multiple video conferencing facilities, wellness rooms, executive client centers and a cafeteria as well. We also believe that the development center will lead to the creation of job opportunities and propel economic growth in the state of Andhra Pradesh. We also hope that it will create a larger technology ecosystem in the city and attract other companies in the future that this will make, make this uh, beautiful city a major IT hub. We are grateful to the state of Andhra Pradesh and the local authorities in Vaishnagapatnam for extending their invaluable support as we commence our operations. Finally, I would like to thank all the DC employees and all the colleagues of Infosys who have made this dream of ours come true in this, for this day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nilanjan, for giving us the insights and being an integral.